is worse than like the pure build i i think that this deck can be worked on to be improved on but it feels like overall it's worse than pure has a little bit awkward cars the extra's more awkward doesn't have that it doesn't have that uh the Springins and the, the Therion search and then make Zeus so you can't form material Zeus so eh, I don't know like the pure build just feels like it's better for the format the format does feel like you have to hand trap and then Zeus a lot so having a four material Zeus is like broken go search you want to stop it ash blossom okay think um I could just go scarecrow combo or I could go circular. I guess I have to go scarecrow. Um, but I'm just gonna discard circular, which feels wild. Cause now they pretty much know I have circular in hand. So why would someone discard circular if they didn't have one? Oh yes, let's go, it's ogre! It's not Valor. Ogre gets rid of it so I can Sigma. Let's go. Activate, dump. This isn't good though. This definitely is not good for me. I got double hand trapped on my actual engine, and now I'm playing with my side engine. Uh, the side engine, in a regular build, I pretty much would have just summoned Fenrir, and that's it. So, yeah, because a circular spot is Fenrir's spot. So it's pretty much like, I either do this or I just summon Fenrir Pass. Fenrir Pass would have been better here. For sure. Um, rather than math mech comboing. Use this. Go search. Um, It's just addition. Yeah. I was trying to see if there was any cool line. But it's just addition. So we'll grab that. A little lag. Effect, summon, and then just use those, make each soul. I wish you didn't get locked. Yeah, like, if I wasn't locked in the cybers, well, Mathwink would be so much better if you didn't get locked in the cybers. Yeah, I was gonna say, I would just make, you know, Savage. Savage, get one negate. Heat soul, draw one negate. Nice. So pass. Mmm. Now nah, I'm cool on drawing now. For now. For now. Are you gonna test Brandon anytime? Yeah. I probably will. It seems like Brandon's actually the same deck, but with just guiding Quem. It's like almost the same as it was before. Main phase is good. You want a dark ruler, my heat soul? Be my guy. Don't answer yet. Hit with add. <laughs> uh. Um. Okay. That's good. No response to Lily. And then drop draw. Oh, they added field spell too. Okay. I mean, come on, you have to like say okay or something. I was gonna say because I need, I need to heat soul in response. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All those can go in. One, two, three, four, five. I like how it's in a line like that too. Makes it so much easier. But take those out. Um, it's like probably safe to take out addition. Yeah, it's like probably safe to take out addition. Nah, it's probably not. Yeah, it's definitely not worth taking this out. I feel like this is just too good. If there's a point where this comes up, it'll be way too important. I take those out, and I just have to take out, what, low? One low impact? Eight, eight, six? Yeah, okay. Good luck. Good luck. Proceeds the Kari Kara Heat Soul. Oh, I, I trust me. I'm I'm very scared of the Kari Kara on Heat Soul. I've ate it a few times. Oh, that sucks. I wish I didn't have to draw the contact with the Retaliancy. 
Because it's super cool that retiling the lets you search for contact. Um, but now I can't do that. So I just, like, don't get a free card. But summon this out. Uh, yeah, I'll summon it there. I guess it's the best spot. Getting a thousand. Make my field look better. Discard's Ash Blossom. Uh, that's got to be a good sign for me. They're going to summon... Lily. Lily's fine. Lily can't go into the extra deck by itself, so I definitely don't drop the C there. Yeah, Nib rarely gets value against Purely. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Retaliating the C does turn off some of the other hand traps. Um, like Ogre, Droll. Yeah, my friend is good. I really wish I didn't draw this though. It would have made this look so much better. Because this, by itself, is like, okay. Um, but, if you have this in deck with this, it's like, wow. Like, your one interruption was like, two interruptions. Um, dang, what? I didn't even see what they added. It was just three sleepy. I guess I can't stop it, sure. Okay, so now they have two Sleepy in hand. Yeah, it's like, if you have Pretty, you know, you already have it. Like, we already know you do. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Delicious? You're setting up a delicious plump line? Why? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe I was sleeping on this line. This one's fine. I am going to drop this over on their field, though. This is usually not good in this spot. Did he discard? For what? Oh, yeah, yeah, they discarded uh, Sleepy off Sleepy. They attached the one and discarded the other one. A lot of options there. That is very good. They can go for Nor. Nor's probably good enough to go for. Uh, doesn't he just banish to a plump anyways? What? The retaliating? Or the con I hope the contact he gets hit with, uh, with plump effect. Plump effect to attach, sure, that's good. Okay, set, set, that's fair. That's fair. Just have a bunch of plump banishes. Plump control is the real goo. Yo, draw. Not a good draw. Okay. Standby phase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I lose. I only have one play. And they have one interruption. Plump is truly the best XYZ. 100%. Plump is crazy. I'm like, I'm trying to end on this card every game. Oh, and you have draw. Okay. I'm not, I mean, there's no point in showing the hand traps, right? If I'm just going to scoop anyways. Scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop it up. These in. Even though, probably not going to end up searching him. Thoughts on Dark World this format? Uh, Dark World is not very good, uh, especially with all the hand traps, people main decking draw and stuff like that. It, it definitely builds a, a not great environment for Dark World. Nah, I had that as well. Yeah. A pointer is a good card. 
A pointer plus endboard is almost game every time. The only problem is you have to get to endboard plus a pointer. Sometimes you have to spend a lot of your cards too to play, but Sleepy does help with the Magical Hound versus Trap Eater. Um, Magical Hound only because it's searchable. Why Math Mech Engine? What do you end with? Uh, you can end with a lot. It depends what you want to go for, really. You can end on like Appaloosa, Savage, Baron, Therion, King, Regulus. Six cards in hand, Super Factorial set with follow up. Um. But, I mean, going first isn't, like, going first is easy. Going second's the hard part. Uh, I don't think the Mathematic cards are the greatest. Um, they do deserve to be looked at a little bit, though. Summon, effect, try to go search. Nice build. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and search out bike. Drop draw. Okay. That's fine. And then... We can go Scarecrow. Think. So yeah, big think on this one. Hmm. Three level four bodies. Under draw. Math mech cards don't do anything. Heat soul doesn't do anything. Done, done, done. Babuska. Okay, that's it. Effect. Discard scales. I'm gonna attempt to do this. You got anything? Oh my gosh, that sucks. It looks like it's gonna be a retaliating C game and pray. Circle, dump, summon. Ah, it doesn't do anything. There's no point of even thinking that out. Pass. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hope retaliating C can get us there. Um, That's another reason why I think that the. I think there's got to be a good engine that works with Super Heavy Samurai. Pier is very, very, very strong. I think that's the best build right now, without a doubt. But, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, strong side engines. There's got to be something that, like, just beats the droll. But it's hard to get to a side engine without searching the side engine. So you have to, like, special summon the side engine directly or something like that. Oh, uh, not too sure why you would do that on the Link 1. Usually, I feel like you do that in Retaliate and see there. But it's probably just a Zeus line, like I said. Fuck, sure. Unless... Oh my gosh. Uh, I was going to say, unless we hit Prettier My Friend. And we hit the My Friend. Yep, so now they can uh, set up... Uh, a, even then... I guess you set up a take negate. Take negate. If you just use it on this, and you take this and you beat over that, so much better. <clears throat> Isn't pure math mech better? Yep. How about Madolche? Madolche with the Super Heavy Samurai? I don't know. Madolche has a lot of bricks in its engine. And it doesn't actually really end on anything either. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe, maybe. What'd they grab? Okay, they grabbed Happy. Why are you setting up Happy? That doesn't make sense to me. I don't I don't think they know about Scarecrow effect. Yeah, I don't think they know Scarecrow has an effect. Sure. Unless if they really just want, like, the fattest Zeus possible. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Either they don't know about the damage, or they're just trying to set up the fattest Zeus possible. It looks like it's the fattest Zeus possible. Okay. I mean, you're good, bro. I, like, you're fine. Nope. Runic Super Heavy Samurai. All the bit. Put the, get the spells in the graveyard to fountain, get the spells out of the graveyard. In the graveyard, out of the graveyard. In, out, in, out, in, out. Traco Slayer, Super Heavy Samurai. Oh, God, no. That's a, that sounds like Shangri-La locking the zones just as horrible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and search out this. Got about the contacts here. 
Happiness bouncing floodgates is really funny. True. I had a I had a moment where I was able to happiness bounce back my opponent's field spell. And then I was able to out their XYZ afterwards. And it was nice. Okay. So they have happy memory in hand. Mm. I'm trying to pay attention to see what they're searching. Hey, shout out to uh, Chokum1 with the sub with the prime. The little shark dance. Let's go. You already know how I'm getting. Thank you for the prime, though. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll just try to search here. Um, how has the retaliating C package been performing? It's been decent. Um, I think purely players are learning how to play around it better, though, or through it better. So I do think it's losing some of its value. Um, I think the contact C isn't really for like purely turn one it really is just for like the turn two it's kind of like drop retaliation c retaliation c gets outed you search contact c for follow-up and you try to use it against their first purely name so that way you only have to interrupt the second purely name or vice versa okay they're gonna grab pretty there I need their next play to just be the worst play possible. Um, yeah, because they attach the happy. So they have one more attack. Sure. Yep. That's good. Hello, Mr. DB. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> if they're smart, they'll add pretty now to play around contact C. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't have to do that. Technically, technically they don't. Technically they don't. Because they could add Sleepy, activate Sleepy, chain to equip, and then summon Nor as their next play. Summoning Nor as the next play sounds good. But I do agree, summoning Beauty as the next play also sounds good. Both of those plays seem like they beat Contact C very well. That also depends like what links do they play. Some people play four links, while other plays two. Uh, I subscribed, but didn't show up. Oh, well, uh, thanks for the sub. <laughs> um, I don't know if it'll show up or not, but appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Activate Sleepy, chain to equip. Okay. Activate Sleepy. Okay, now they can't chain to equip this time. Oh, they probably thought I was like, oh, three times per turn. No, I was just being like, this is actually three times per turn. <laughs> yeah, I get it. The The thrice per turn feels like it doesn't come up enough to where, you know, sometimes you go over the thrice per turn. I feel it. I feel it. I've done it. I'll just let, I'll just let them put it back to the hand. We're testing. Come on now. Not about to force them. Anything here? Nah. I, it's just, I only know Sleepy in hand, so, like, there's just no way I, I drop Contact C here to play around, like, something, right? Okay, okay. They already had pretty. Fair enough. Summon, equip. E e I mean, even if I try to summon that to play around, it doesn't actually play around it. So... Are they gonna use the effect? I don't... Okay, yeah, send Sleepy to take. Really? You don't send Sleepy to take? I guess you have, like, a switch to defense. I feel like leaving Scarecrow there is wild. But there's no outing nor here, so I just lose. Uh, what's strong about Purely? Uh, the towers is cool. I don't think that's, like, the thing that makes it super powerful. 
I think it's just like a strong hand trap deck that can summon Zeus well. It gets a lot of cards for free. I think it does a lot of what it needs to do very well. But obviously the towers is like a big part, right? Like, oh, geez. Like they have a towers that says draw during the standby phase. Not once per turn put back. Like if you get to this, it's very strong. But the games where you don't get to this purely still feel strong. Like ending on like a... Um, chain like two. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, I'll show my hand real quick. Yeah, I'm not gonna. That draw hurt me. I couldn't do anything. Super mm, list. Oh. Uh, Yeah, I didn't get the list from Super Mmm, uh, but I saw them play it, so I was like, okay, I want to try it. So then I kind of threw it together. Yeah, it seems like it's a very similar list. GG's, GG's.